This past fall in Denver, Colorado, a lot of people came together to try a lot of beer. The Great American Beer Festival welcomed more than 60,000 people, all looking to sample beers from all around the world. The event's attendance is just one example of the growing popularity of craft beer, beer made by small independent operations. In 2018, the domestic sales of craft beer reached a record-setting $27 billion. That's 24% of the entire U.S. beer market. And in the United States alone, there are now more than 7,000 craft brewers, like Fargo Brewing in North Dakota, Bells in Michigan, and Shipyard in Maine. There are so many craft breweries out there. Yeah. Weren't you intimidated to start your own? Opening it was getting scary. That was nerve wracking. Marcus Doucette threw his hat into this very crowded ring two years ago. Brand new IPA just came on. When he opened Backyard Brewery in Manchester, New Hampshire. One thing about the craft beer community that's incredible is that it's not so much a competition. If we're all creating different styles, but at a quality level, we're sharing the same customers. And for the most part, the same ingredients. It's going to be water, it's going to be malt, it's going to be hops, and it's going to be yeast. So you take those four things and you change one of them, and the beer essentially is, is different. But creating something unique often requires experimentation. We're making an English mild ale, so a malty old English beer, uh, but we're infusing it with Earl Grey tea. Paul St. Ange is the head brewmaster, responsible for finding ways for their brand to make a splash in the larger world of beer. Sometimes he adds tea, other times special hops or fruit. How do you create something that tastes unique? I would think all of the flavors have been covered by now. I mean, yeah, you can say that, but um, it comes down just to the quality of it, the quality of your craftsmanship. I mean, essentially, you could two people could create the same beer, the same IPA, but a few different variations or variables can really change that, you know. Backyard Brewery is still a small operation, but Marcus Doucette definitely sees the glass half full. If you're able to offer consistently delicious, high-quality beers, you're going to create a name for yourself. You're going to be able to stand out. 